Hi everybody. So my name's Tracy. Art Fiber Stitch is my business. This is a part three of a really interesting video series that I'm doing. We've been covering so many techniques and it really is growing so there will be a part four to come I'm sure. We've come a long way since the end of part one. Let's catch up on a little a little bit of what I've been doing. And you see I've done quite a lot of seed stitch there just to hold down that green square. And I've gone outside the edges a little bit because I quite like doing that. And this leaf here I've uh, I've done a nice teal color. So far uh, I've just picked out some of the um, veins and uh, gone around it just to sort of make it show up a little bit better. I haven't done much with that one yet. I'm still deciding what I want to do around it. Down here, this is going to be a... I think the focal point is going to be this. And this is going to be lovely, I think, when we finished. Okay, so you'll remember that we had cut some some bits out. Where are we? Yes. You know, and uh, I wasn't overly... Oh, there you go. I've done a little bit of white on that one too. I've started a oh, pale blue to bring it out into the other and hold it down, of course. So I really love seed stitch. I love blending colours in it. I love using it in a lot of ways. I'm just toying now. We see that lace or net. Right, so I'm just toying now with the idea of getting rid of some of that red by um, doing that. Just having it come in from the outside edges a bit, you know, and that would break that up a little bit. So it's possible I'll do that. So you can see what it looks like with the frame. And you can see here on the edges those leaves coming out. So I'm just going to pin them and, uh, and we'll just see. So I'll remove the pin and I'm just going to do a quick very basic running stitch up the center of that stem to hold it where I want. And the whole the whole idea is that we've I've blended some of these things in, you know, and that color I've calmed down all of that pink. You know, I still like some pink, but it doesn't look all to be pink. So this helps, and I'm just going to do the same here with that. I'm just going to go from the point. And I'll turn it around and go like that. This is quite a thick oh, pearl thread. But I wanted something to be thick and stand out. In the center and it's it's what we did there and then we can change to something else in a little while but this is a good starting point whilst I've got it on I might try it around the edge this one and see it reminds me you know when you get a leaf and it has um, come up and gone on the ground and it starts to create its own skeleton you know how it degrades and you end up with just this just the lines so I uh, I'm quite happy you know you can hardly see it but it it helps to sort of balance and to oops, and to shade like I said This whole thing's a picture. It's something that you can really lose yourself in and you 
you just keep going adding bits here bits there decide what you like very therapeutic and then, and then I'm always thinking that edge is gone you see it's gonna be like that it's very subtle subtle but it really does help So I'm just going to use a little bit more of this pearl cotton. Notice how I didn't go the same colour, that turquoise or aqua. I, I went a more leafy colour because it's more like these. You see it helps to blend that in to make it a similar colour. All right, so we better finish this one. We're doing the same, the same. And I'll travel down and do the others, just that basic amount, and we'll we'll see what we can do after that. And then, as I do it, I can remove those pins, so they're not quite such a a nuisance because it gets caught on your needle and your thread. If you leave them in there so I'm just trying to get rid of them as fast as possible by tacking these down yeah that's really improved it you know I'm gonna do some more seed stitch to hold that down um, and I don't really I want this to be my focal point here because I'm gonna do quite a lot of work trying to make make all those blend in um, so, yeah, but I, I want you to be able to tell what this is, you know, with the, the leaves going off. See this one here, look, some up the top, we've got here, they're all sort of coming down this way. And, you know, maybe we could have some as well going that way, I don't know. It wouldn't be this, I don't think, I don't need to do that, but something, even if it's just an outline. We could continue this one here across and do a little leaf or something there. Rather than that just ending like that. That might be the go. There we are. I think that's that's definitely an improvement. You may think, why has she done that with the you know, there's a one, two, three of those white um backgrounds, you know, that's a bit strange. But it breaks it up. You know, because the whole thing is really quite colourful. It's quite nice to have those breaks. You know, they're like little windows in, in the picture. Back to the paper underneath. And the same here. I'm going to leave that bit of white there on the bottom. And, you know, I hope I'm, I'm managing it. But that's the idea. So I think... Another thing I'm wanting to try is seed stitch again, but this time in a white. And I'm just going to try to do something. This is a bit, a bit silly, I suppose. But I'm wanting to have these little tiny stitches that will come through and enter this white. And then I'd like it to come out and over to this other butterfly and then out again somehow. And what I, what I would pretend it was was the flight path of these these beautiful insects maybe it's the um, yeah the dust from their wings or the air currents that they're making as they're fluttering through yeah but it also will hold this down a little bit I could bring in a, a lilac or something if I wanted um, but it's there yeah, it's only just a an idea at present. Not all of my ideas work. If not, I try something else. I don't uh, let it phase me at all. Okay, so that's what I was looking at. Doing something like that. But then also here, as the butterflies flying through Perhaps he's leaving a little trail of dust in his wake. 
That doesn't sound very nice, does it? Um, hmm. Something. Essence of butterfly, shall we call it? That sounds prettier anyway. So it didn't show up much there, but I think it will in a minute because we're going to go through this darker purple colour. I'm really not wanting it to be that obvious. It's just a, another little element to make your eye track through the picture. And you see all the other marvellous things that we've done. And maybe that doesn't show up enough. Maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. And you only know by trying um, you know how it's going to work. Sometimes what you envisage isn't it at all, but sometimes it's better because, you know, it sends you in a different direction. You think, oh, didn't consider that. And away, away you go again. You know, it's, it's lovely. It's creativity. Right, I'm going to have to stop and end that one off. And I'll do that little line and, you know, then we'll come back and look at it again. Now I'll go back and do things there, but... Uh, I really must do something here and I, you know, as of yet, I don't know what. I think I just spotted this over there. What's good about having a messy desk? All kinds of things are in front of you. Um, yeah, so that's a, that's a nice blue, nice dark blue. I'm going to start off with a single strand again because I don't know how this is going to go. Really, I don't. Um, We'll just have to have a go. I think what I'm going to start to do is maybe go over that outline and bring it into the other one. So that's the whole idea. I'm going to try and make these all blending together. I'm, I'm hoping that it will work. I'm just picking out that petal, which is the edge of that flower, on the top I mean. So, just going down here. Let's see. And then I can see another little bit there. So I'm going to make it come out from there. I'm going to make a new top edge for this flower. See what I mean? And I'll pull that in over here. doesn't show up too well I can always do it again okay and okay I'm gonna go same here down that edge and can you see there's lines here I can easily follow that kind of thing it's already been suggested it would be nice in the pattern they've done it quite quite often on repeat so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go down like that and I'm going to go up from here do that outside edge can you see what I'm doing I'm following what's there but I'm also going to try and marry it in so it looks like one big flower but this bit is without the overlay and the other is with it so it's a bit a bit strange uh, if it works, if it works, it's going to be great. And the same with this, I'm just going to do, do that. And down. And I'm attaching this flower. We'll get on to the other bits that will make it work soon. Let's just uh, get that that sewn down. 
as I as I am stitching, I'm thinking, and it gives me ideas of things that I can try. So I haven't done anything obvious, but it's helped me to plan. You know, because I used that single strand, I didn't make anything that was too um, permanent. You know, too, I can't go back from here. I can go forward from here. And that's what I'm going to try and do. Right now, I'm going to try and imagine this petal continues on. And that's why I wanted this white space, because I want to stitch in it. There we go. Alright, so, and uh, there's more here. Oh. But at the moment, I might just do one here. And go out, just to finish this blue thread off. On that last little one, I think we'll just hold that one down. Would look better without that black spot. Mm -hmm. If we're going to change anything now, it'd be the time. So, okay, let's call that a leaf like that. And then, can I lose the whole thing? Maybe. Or I can just go like this. lines down remember that's okay oh yes and I have these great visions and I think I think it will be good it is gratifying when I start to see the picture a little clearer and I think yeah I can do this I mean we may decide to do some some more colors, some more lines. It might just be this is enough. We might use a thick thread in places. All right, so that's a start. Um, and that's the idea. I'm gonna try and make that into one. Just, it's a challenge. So I'm thinking I might just leave it here for this video. Um, I do apologize for any noises in the background. That high pitch is an insect called a cicada that just loves to make noise at this time of year. Anyway, you can see here that this these separate pieces of material have come together to make a huge picture. And I'm really enjoying this exercise. And uh, I think that there's one more video to come on it. And I'm going to look then at uh, maybe doing some couching and to finish this flower off and just a few little embellishment techniques that we might not have done before. So if you would like to see that, do please check back in. You can subscribe to my channel, press like if you've liked this one, and we'll see you soon. You can find me on any of the links below in the description. And once again, thank you very much for watching.